morning everyone jameson here coming at you with another vlog for the nordic sound channel uh this is actually day two here uh at Budahaugen at the uh the viking center museum uh yesterday i was you know got caught up setting up a tent uh in the rain uh which is always a fun experience uh and also catching up with friends from back home and from fire in the mountains so you know i didn't really uh bother to take a moment to take a vlog but you know here I am very first morning it's absolutely beautiful out here you know living in Colorado I don't uh, I don't get nearly enough water so this is a welcome change of scenery and I also you know I would grow up and grew up on the coast so I really miss the salty smell of like brine and decay which is really weird to say but you know for those of you who know what I'm talking about it's a refreshing smell oddly enough uh, and also, fun fact, uh, there's Sweden actually right over there. Everyone say hi, Sweden. It's Frederikstad. So, uh, yeah, uh, first day here was pretty cool. Uh, so it was catching up with friends, uh, getting to know the area a little bit. Um, I've, I mentioned this on the podcast, uh, I think the last episode, but I'm going to be helping uh, Dan and Mateus over at the Nordic Mythology Podcast. They need help from someone who knows how to work an audio interface, uh, so I'll be, I'll be doing the sound for them. Uh, for for their podcast episodes they'll be doing here so definitely check those out it's gonna be some good stuff always good stuff from them uh so most memorable thing from day one um for those of you who saw the reels or the what are they called the shorts on youtube uh there was a little midnight performance last night from uh i wish i got the name of the band but you know it was just so like you know it was midnight uh spur of the moment it was just you know a bunch of uh frame drums and a bagpipe uh and they were playing last night around the bonfire, and it was just a really, you know, beautiful experience. You know, it's a, I captioned a collective effervescence. It's sort of just when people in a in an area just spontaneously participate in the same activity, um, often without preparation or anything like that. So, you know, it's really cool. A lot of things, you know, one of the funny things is, you know, people think like metalheads or, you know, this, this demographic is like a really, you know, scary group. You know, don't make eye contact with them, but, you know, play them some drums around a fire and a whole bunch of strangers are all of a sudden dancing and just totally freely expressing themselves uh, in front of complete strangers and everyone's just totally accepting and having a great time and that's one of the more beautiful things about you know metal festivals and these sort of like neo-pagan music festivals um, it's just a it's not the it's not the type of scene that you would expect and that's sort of what I love about it um, you know it's just like a whole different way of life at these festivals um, so yeah, that was really cool. Definitely check out those, uh, the real or the short, whatever your preferred platform is. Um, because that was a really beautiful experience. You know, this, the moon came out from behind the clouds in the middle and, you know, of course we're right on the, right on the water. So, uh, so if that was anything, that was like a little appetizer for what's going to be going on the rest of the, the rest of the festival here. There's about four more days, um, setting up camp. I was lucky enough. I was one of the first ones here. We were some of the first ones here and I got this set up right under a tree. So it's going to be raining the whole time essentially, except for today. So I'm enjoying the sun while I can and the dryness. Um, but hopefully I'll be staying pretty dry the rest of the, the rest of the trip. And then for, the, for those of you I've already told about this, uh, I get back into Colorado on Sunday, and then me and Mateus walk into class to teach 12 hours later, so uh, pray for us, uh, but we'll make it. It'll be fine. It's just the first day, you know, talking about syllabus, don't be on your phone, all that sort of stuff. Hopefully it won't be too involved, but, you know, anything could happen. So, you know, some of you have actually told me that your favorite thing about these vlogs is actually the uh, the scenery, because a lot of you in, know that you probably won't get to Norway anytime soon, uh, if ever, unfortunately. So, here you go. There's Norway and Sweden way over there. And for those of you who like birds, uh, a whole bunch of cormorants, or where's my finger? A whole bunch of cormorants are set up shop over there doing that hysterical drying their wings thing they do. Uh, they're going fishing. It's good stuff. You know, seaweed. Seaweed everywhere. Got some. Look at that. It's a beautiful spot totally couldn't ask to be in a better spot for four four days you know so anyway i'm gonna stop rambling at you uh so that's my update um i guess i'll do another vlog next time i feel uh inspired to do a vlog <laughs> so uh yeah so i guess i'll see i'll see you guys then look forward to hearing from you looking forward to meeting some of you uh here at the festival for the first time 
Uh, so yeah, take care and I'll see you in the next one.